Hey everyone and welcome to PMT College powered by Professional Music Technology. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with mgrmusic.com and today we're going to learn five songs with just three chords in them. So all of these songs are quite easy ones that you can get strumming along with today. There's a couple of cleaner pop songs and we've got a couple of little rockers in there as well for those of you who want to get stuck into something to get your head going a little bit more. So in this video I'm using my Silver Sparkle Gretsch Electromatic model with a cool amplification Blue Sky, which is mic'd up with an SM57 microphone. The amplifier is set to a completely clean tone, and I have uh, an MXR Shinjuku drive on the floor for the overdrive. I'm also using the Rode clip-on microphone that you can see here on my shirt for recording my voice. All right, so let's get stuck in, shall we? The first song we're gonna do is Snow Patrol's Chasing Cars. Now this song uses just three chords, an A major, a D major, and an E major. This is a really simple song that you can string together very, very quickly. So those chords again, we've got A major, D major, and E major. The rhythm for this is just straight alternate strummed eighth notes, one and two and three and four and, two bars on each chord. Two bars of A, two bars of E, two bars of D, two bars of A. So the next one we're going to do is a rock classic by a group called The Trogs, and this is a song called Wild Thing. This uses the same three chords, A major, D major, and E major. For this we need to just kick on the overdrive, so let me just do that. So we've got a bit more of a rock sound going on. We're starting with the A major chord, and we're playing this on the first and second beat. So one, two. We're skipping the third beat, and we're going to the D on the and four. So we've got... So we're doing the A chord on the first and second beat, one, two. We're skipping the third beat and we're doing the D chord on the and four. So we're going one, two, and four. So you'd skip the three there. So one, two, three, and four. The second bar is the same thing, but we go from the E major to the D. So we're going one, two, three, and four. And all together with full overdrive. So sticking with the same three chords again, we're going to do another rock classic now. This is by ACDC and this is called Back in Black. This uses the E major, the D major, and the A major chord. There's a couple of little lead licks that feature in the original version of the song that I've not included in this because I just want you to get those chords right for now. You just want to be able to strum along with those great chords. So this one starts with an E chord on the first beat. And then if you think back to the five chords for kids video we did recently, we talked about 16th notes. So this actually has some 16th notes where we're going one, two, so we're skipping the two, so it's one and a three. The and a three is the D chord. So we're going like this, so we're going one, two, and a three, four, A, and a one, two, three. That's where the lead that kicks in. So it's one, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, three, four, one, two, and a three, four, and a one, two, three, four. Full overdrive. Next up, we've got a little bit of American country rock from the 60s with Creedence Clearwater Revival's track, Bad Moon Rising. This uses a D major chord, an A major chord, but we're also now bringing in the G chord. There's two ways you can play the G chord. You can either play it with just your middle finger, your first finger, and your third finger, like this, or you can do what a lot of people like to do and add the third finger onto the B string on the third fret and use your little finger to play the third fret on the E string. So I always play it with the extra finger for no real reason other than I just prefer the sound of it. It's totally up to you which one you pick. It will sound the same either way. So the rhythm for this one, we're starting on the D and we're doing one, two, three, and four. So we're skipping the three again, but this one's quite quick. So the tempo is a bit more upbeat. So we're sort of going one, two, three, four, Run about that sort of speed. So we're going one, two, and four. So it's one, two, and four. 
The second bar is A on the first and second beat, G on the third and fourth beat. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four. In the original song, there's a slight accent on the A and G chords. You can either play these as false drums, or what you can do is play the first note, one, two, three, four, just to accent those changes. Play the first note and a strum. One, two, three, four. Or you can just go straight, one, two, three, four. The second half of the riff, is another two bar sequence which repeats the first bar so one two three and four and then the second part of that is the same rhythm one two three four but with just the d chord one two three four so all together we've got one two three and four one two three four one two three and four one two three four and here that is at full speed Final one we're going to do today, we need a capo for. So the capo is going on the second fret. And this is a song called What's Up by a group called Four Non Blondes. So for this one, we're using three chords. We're using a G, which once again, I'm going to use the extra finger for. But don't feel like you have to. You can do it without the extra finger if that's more comfortable for you. I'm also using an A minor chord and a C chord. So this is a slightly more tricky rhythmic song. So there's a bit more of a, an in-demand strumming pattern here, but the chord changes should be quite easy. So the structure of the chords, it's going to go G, A minor, C, and back to G. So it's a four bar loop, this song. So the rhythm we're doing is we're doing all the 16th notes here. So we're going one, and a two, and a three, and a. The fourth beat I'm skipping, and I'm coming back in on the E and a of four. So this rhythm may take a little bit of time just to get your head around because there's a lot of beats that I'm skipping here. So I'm not doing straight 16th notes, I am skipping a few beats here and there. When you're working on this rhythm, just slow it right down. Use the written part of the lesson just to help you visualize and vocalize that rhythm as well. So one and a two and a three e and a four e and a. Take your time with that, get that rhythm nice and tight and then start bringing in the chords. So we've got the G, one and a two and a three e and a four e and a a minor two and a three e and a four e and a c and a two and a three e and a four e and a g and a two and a three e and a four e and a here's that full speed So with the rhythm in that last one, you know, don't worry if you miss a strum here and there because I think I missed one or two strums out there. The rhythm can be kept quite loose. It still gives the overall impression of what the song's doing. So just have some fun with that one. It's quite a nice, easy, laid back one to just play along with. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope these five songs get you on your way to strumming along with some classics. And I hope you have fun learning them. And you know, it's a great way to just get people talking and show people what you can really do. Don't forget to subscribe to PMTV UK for more videos like this. And if you are looking for a professional guitar teacher near you, please check out mgrmusic.com. We've got a huge network of teachers all around the country just waiting to hear from you and help you take your playing to that next level. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.